Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of hepatic metastasis. A 35 year old female patient came with the history of breast carcinoma. She was a diagnosed case without having any surgery. Now she came with non specific abdominal pain. So she was sent to us for an ultrasound evaluation to exclude metastasis. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here we have started with the liver. You can see multiple irregular heterogeneously hypoechoic mass lesions throughout the liver. These lesions are seen almost all the segments of the liver. When there is a history of primary carcinoma and you see multiple space occupying lesions throughout the liver, it should be a case of hepatic metastasis. Here is the picture, you can see multiple irregular space occupying lesions of variable size and shape seen in different segments of the liver. This is the largest one with an approximate measurement. And the picture with lesions at different side. And the one with different segments showing multiple space occupying lesions. Here is a picture of the right lobe where you can see the parenchyma is almost getting occupied by these space occupying lesions. Now let's put some color doppler. Here on color doppler you can see these lesions are showing internal vascularity. Certain normal vessels like the hepatic veins are getting displaced due to the mass lesions. Here is a still picture and you can see the lesions are showing internal prominent vascularity. We have took a sample to understand where it's getting supply from and it's showing the supply is coming from the hepatic arterial branches. You can see a very good amount of vascular flow within these lesions. Now as these lesions occupy almost all the segments you definitely should go for a high frequency transducer. Here on linear transducer you can see there are also some tiny space occupying lesions within the parenchyma which you may miss on regular curvilinear transducer views. Here is another view. You can see multiple irregular lesions are there on high frequency. This type of hypoechoic vascular lesions are very common in case of metastasis from breast carcinoma. Here is a picture of the flower like metastatic deposit within the liver parenchyma. As you see, there is a huge amount of metastatic foci within the liver, so you typically expect to have ascites in this patient. Here is a lower abdominal longitudinal view. This is the urinary bladder, this is the uterus, and surrounding the uterus, you can see a very good amount of peritoneal collection or ascites. Here is a transverse section. You can see the uterus on transverse section and fluid surrounding the uterus and also the part of fallopian tube. Make sure whenever you see ascites, you always should evaluate the fallopian tube. Normally in regular ultrasound, we can't see the fallopian tube quite well. But when the ascites is present, due to the surrounding fluid, it can be well visualized. Here is a still picture of the uterus in longitudinal and transverse sections and you can see surrounding fluid collections. So in summary, multiple irregular heterogeneously hypoechoic vascular space occupying lesions of variable size and shape are noted within the hepatic parenchyma involving almost all the segments. Peritoneal collection is also present. So these features conclude it as a case of hepatic metastasis.
Now the take home message. If any primary source of malignancy is known, then always you should check the hepatic parenchyma carefully during the follow-up scans to exclude any metastasis. Make sure to check the liver also with the high-frequency transducer where you can get tiny metastatic foci also. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and try to visit us on imagingstudy.com. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.